Hey, this is a great CD. It's called Bend or Break, and it's the title of country music singer-songwriter Corey Lane's latest record. It's apropos since Corey has experienced both bent and broken in his own life. Yeah. Corey's inspirational story is weaved into all of his music, and he sings with searing vocals and sincerity. I want you to hear it for yourself, which you'll get to do tonight, but would you please join me in welcoming Corey Lane. Good to have you here, Corey. Good to be here. A lot of these songs are deeply personal. Yeah. You went through a rough spot in your life. I absolutely did, yeah. And kind of hit rock bottom. Below rock bottom. Was that the turnaround for your life? And, absolutely. And that was what, six years ago? Yeah, coming up on six years. Um, so I was a heavy addict. Mm. And uh, I was driving down the road one day, and um, I just, you know, I always say that. God put a uh, fire hydrant in front of the uh, highway because if I would, it, I blacked out. And if I would have not hit that fire hydrant, then I would have went into the highway when there was a lot of traffic and probably, you know, a lot of people would have been killed. But there was a man that pulled over to the side of the road and I tried to see his face and it was like looking at one of these bright lights. I could never see the guy's face. And he would, if there was a before and after picture, that people can see on my socials, but he took water, put his finger in the in the scars, like in the holes, literally touching the bones. I'd, you know, broken bones all oh in my, my face. And um, I decided then to change my life. I went to uh, rehab. Um, I'm not ashamed to say it, yeah. you know, because it's part of who I am. Uh, I'm a pastor's son, so, yeah. you know, when, uh, it's your story. It's my story. Yeah. And, uh, but the guy asked me before leaving the scene of the accident, he said, is there anything I can do for you, son? Mm. And I was angry, you know, and mm. I just said, no, you know, hard. And, um, well, went to rehab, left rehab, ended up sleeping outside in Pigeon Forge in the snow for about three days, two, mm. three days, something like that. And I finally said, God, I give up. I, be, I just give up. Mm. And an old man pulled up. And I'm sorry, I get emotional talking about this. Um, <clears throat> an old man pulled up and he said the same exact words with the same voice. He said, is there anything I can do for you, son? Mm -hmm. And uh, nobody wanted me to come back home. I wouldn't have wanted me to come back home either because I was that bad mm. of a person. And... Um, uh, he looked at me, he said, now get in the car. Whole drive to Knoxville to the bus station. He asked me where I wanted to go, and I said, I just want to go home. And he called a family member and said that had initially said no and said, I'm sending Corey home. And they said they felt compelled to say yes. Mm. And he told me the whole drive how much he had loved me all my life, how much he cared about me. And at first I was like, hey, man, pull over. You know, I, I don't, I don't know about all this. And he, and then he touched my chest and he said, "Corey," and I had not said my name to him. Mm. And that right there was was <laughs> the complete turning point wow. of my life. No wonder your songs have such depth, because when you sing about life going in tough places, yeah. and in, in this particular song, "Bend or Break," I mean, you've really been there. Uh, I, there's a couple of other quick things I want to mention. One, yeah. the latest single you have is a song called Searchlight. You're going to yes. be performing that later tonight for yeah. us. The lyric is very personal. Why? Um, well, you know, it's well, it, it, it pertains to everybody. It doesn't have to be about love or anything. Um, but it's kind of like leaving your past behind you mm. um, and just going. Um, but the crazy thing is, is it's been streamed more in the Ukraine than anywhere else right now. In Ukraine? Ukraine. They're streaming in Ukraine. Yes. Must be a reason. Yeah. And uh, before we go do the music, you've got a hometown concert coming up in your hometown of Pittsburgh, South Tennessee. South Pittsburgh. South Pittsburgh. Not, home? Pit, not Pennsylvania, but no. Pittsburgh, Tennessee. South Pittsburgh, Tennessee, April the 24th uh, at 1.30. I'll be opening for Rhonda Benson. And then Wonderful. on April the 30th, we're doing a benefit um, well, 
volunteer work for uh, Dawson Springs, Kentucky. They were wrecked by a tornado, mm. and uh, we're we need all boots on the ground. That's and uh, we're going to go out and do that. But, yeah, uh, my hometown, actually. It's the, the National Cornbread Festival? The National Cornbread Festival. What could possibly well, be better than the home, Cornbread Festival? My hometown, uh, the, there's a staple in my hometown called Lodge Manufacturing, Lodge Cast Iron Skillet. I have a Lodge, big, honking Lodge Skillet. Well, it's here's wonderful. your Lodge Griddle. I love that. And this is a gift from Lodge and my hometown wow. to you. And it is heavy. <clears throat> Especially the cornbread that's not sweet, you're not the northern sweet cornbread. I'm talking about real cornbread that real you can cornbread. put in milk. Absolutely. You know I mean? yeah. My friend, I knew I loved you. I love you more now because you know what cornbread's supposed to Absolutely. be like. Cornbread like God <laughs> intended it. Well, as Corey gets ready to sing Keith Bilbrey, He's not going to tell you about cornbread, but he is going to tell you about more of Corey Lane's music and how you can get some of it. To purchase or stream Corey Lane's latest single or other inspiring tunes, go to Huckabee.tv. Now, while you're there, watch Corey's online exclusive song, Bend or Break.